Today on Turtle Travels, we'll be exploring the Guadalupe River and Comal Springs, located in Texas. Both places are recreation hotspots, but what most people don't know is that they're actually biodiversity hotspots with many animals such as fish and turtles. Today, we'll be after some of the native turtles, such as the stink pot, the Texas cooter, and the common snapping turtle. We'll be accompanied by the North American Freshwater Turtle Research that often does research with the turtles in these water bodies. With all this in plan, there's one thing for sure, that this is going to be an awesome adventure. Hey guys, we're here in Comal Springs, Texas. We're gonna do some sampling. We're gonna go try to find the five species of turtles that live here. Uh, we're gonna get some underwater footage of me snorkeling. We're just gonna snorkel along this river for about three miles up and then come back and see what we can find. Normally we get about 400 turtles a trip, so we'll see. We jumped right into canoes and we were off, heading down the river. There's me in the snorkel mask, looking for turtles. In the first stretch of stream, the water wasn't quite that clear. It was a little bit murky and cloudy, but that's a to be expected, and as I went upstream, the clarity improved, and we stumbled across our first turtle. When you first start out at Comal, the turtles are pretty hard to spot, as they kind of look like rocks just sitting at the bottom. But you'll get used to it, and like right now, you'll definitely find a turtle. <laughs> As you can see, once you get the hang of catching turtles, you'll double the number. And of course, on your trip, you won't just be seeing turtles. The fish are plentiful. As we began to move upstream, the water clarity got much better, and we had a higher chance of catching a turtle. This beautiful section of the creek definitely held promise. Many downed logs and branches and rocks held affordable hiding places for any turtles that might be there. As we began to move upstream, we came across our first Texas cooter. Here's one of the NAFTRIG members bagging it up. This is a common musk turtle. Oh, we just caught that. Um, a pretty cool species. You can see the leeches on the belly. We'll talk about these more when we get back to the sampling area. Once you get to the main lake of Comal, I highly advise not going in the eel grass, or you'll get stuck and need to get a boat out. On our way back from the main lake, the water clarity seemed to be at its peak form, allowing us for clear vision through the water. After the water clarity started to decrease, we slowly made our way back to the main base. In the end, we had a successful day at Comal Springs. We caught about 100 turtles in total, everyone combined, of varying species. 
Later, these, all of these turtles will be taken to the main base where they will be processed by the NAFTRIC. All of this data will be used to ensure the species' survival in the future. After our exciting venture at Comal Springs, we weren't done. We were ready to go to the Guadalupe River in hopes we could find a Guadalupe softshell or any other awesome turtle species. Right as we entered the Guadalupe, we were confronted with a species of turtle. I crossed the river in hopes that we could find a really cool species. Slider. There's a slider just chilling out right here. Now we're gonna go look for some soft shells. Uh, but this is our red-eared slider, so it's a little melanistic. Uh, yeah, and you can see uh, this is calcium carbonate stained on the bottom of the shell. Uh, but this is really cool. We got a turtle on the Guadalupe River. Uh, I was just basking right on this rock over here. We can see it from the bank. Uh, we'll look for some soft shells. Don't know if we'll find any there, but we'll look. And uh, there's definitely more of a flow in this river, uh, I can tell you that. And we're going to look on the side for any soft shell we can find. Uh, but yeah, right here slider. Okay, so we were, I was literally, I was literally just sitting here with my slider and uh, somebody else decided to show up. Uh, this is a little uh, Texas map turtle, a really cool species. You'll see a lot of these uh, on the Comal uh, portion of this episode. Uh, really cool uh, uh, turtle. Uh, really cool. This is a herbivorous species, so you can see right there in the mouth. Uh, those are little, t uh, they're not actually teeth, but they're little serrated edges, and they'll use that to rip apart the, um, uh, the food that they'll be eating in here. Uh, and you can just see this is a very flowing system. Um, that's the difference. After these two awesome catches, it was time to say goodbye to our two new turtle friends. The soft shells that live in here, the Guadalupe soft shell. The Guadalupe soft shell is an actual species that lives in here, endemic to just this Guadalupe River. Uh, but the, the babies actually live along the edges kind of of the river, and the adults will go in the middle. Uh, so we're going to look for some babies along this edge. And look around that edge. right here. It's in my hand. You can see him. <laughs> Same species as the little guy we found, but not as little, uh, but still really cool find. And, and this is in about seven minutes of being out on this river. We've caught three turtles. Okay, so we've made our way down the river a little bit. And I'm going to start heading back up. There's some geese over there, and we're just going to try our luck. Uh, down here, there's some riffles. We're going to see if we can uh, find them there. Okay, so we're in the middle of the riffles right now. They're not too bad, they're moderate. Uh, just looking for soft shells. They like to hang out in this kind of fast moving water. Uh, little babies go over to the side. But like soft shells like to hang out kind of in this kind of area. A little deep around maybe, but we're going to try our luck right over here. We made a trek past the raging riffles. However, we soon found out that the area past this point was very deep and only accessible by snorkel, which we did not have. We ended up turning around and going one to one more section of the creek to try our luck. The second section of the creek that we went to came up short as well. So we were going to leave the Guadalupe and head back to Comal. Okay, so today we didn't find any turtles in the Guadalupe. Oh, well, we didn't find any turtles. We didn't find any Guadalupe soft shells today. Uh, but that's okay. We'll come uh, back or something. Uh, Back at Comal, we still had some unfinished business. A night dive.
Boom, there it was. The turtle was right in front of me in the flashlight of someone on the bank. I had the chance and I went for it. At the end of our night dive, we ended up catching five musk turtles, missing one cooter, and missing one musk turtle. That's a pretty good record, considering we were only out there for about 20 minutes. The last part of our trip was pretty impressive as well, as we caught it in one of our traps. You got a catfish right here? Here, y'all. Nope. <laughs> Can you hold this guy? Here, put that guy right here. I'll, I'll take him out for the camera. Oh, this guy's gonna run away. <laughs> here. Okay. Hold him. Okay, so. We got a catfish. That's a catfish right there. They're pretty spiny, so I'm gonna try to put them back in the trap. But that's a funny looking one. I've never seen one like this. Uh, normally they're armored catfish. This one's super slimy. And so I'll put them back. After our awesome catfish catch, we had to say goodbye to Comal and the Guadalupe River. This was definitely gonna be a hard trip to say goodbye to. However, we caught some amazing animals. We made some amazing adventures. And we got to meet up with some old friends. This is definitely an adventure that'll be close to my heart.